friends, welcome to the Lori Lulu Crochet Podcast, episode 50. My name is Lori. I live in the Chicago suburbs with my husband Ryan and our two cats, Dixie and Daisy. I love to crochet. I love to knit. I love to sew. And I'm still learning to do things for all three crafts. Um, you can find all of that lovely fiber goodness on my social media accounts. They are all linked down below. Um, Instagram, Ravelry. My email is down there. My blog is also down there. That's where I post all my show notes. Um, so any patterns that I talk about, um, yarns that I talk about, the fancy yarns, I should say, um, they will be linked in the show notes on my blog. So, just want to welcome any new viewers. I'm glad you found me. And returning viewers, hello again. I'm glad you came back. <laughs> so, grab a drink, grab your project. We have some stuff to talk about. Let me just tell you about some things that have been going on in the Keel household <laughs> these last two weeks. We still don't have a washer. Yeah. Um, so a friend of ours, she actually goes to our church. She came, um, she's really handy. Like she, if she doesn't know, then she looks it up on YouTube. Like, and I kind of am the same way. Like I can figure this out. So we, um, like I said last time, we took everything apart because the control panel was flooded. So that all dried out. And then she came over last week to look at it again and put it all together and so we can like test it to see if what we thought was the problem was, was actually the problem. So we get all the wires connected back to the motherboard and then we go to connect the motherboard to the control panel, which is where all the buttons that I push to start the washer. Um, I can't figure out where that wire goes. Like we spent an hour looking at the control panel. We was looking at YouTube, looking at stuff online, looking at different things. There's nowhere that it shows where to plug that wire in. And on YouTube videos, when they unhook the control panel from, or the display panel, I think is what it's called. When they pull that off and set it aside, like, they don't show where it's connected and we're so frustrated with them. So, she's actually coming today. She found a washer on Facebook Marketplace. Um, that's kind of like her, her thing. She will find stuff on Facebook Marketplace. If it's broken, she'll fix it. And then resell it. Like, that's her thing. <laughs> like, hey, if you can find a good washer for us, that'd be great. So, she's actually, she found one. Um, she was, said she looked it up. Like, they were like, it's broken. We don't want it anymore. So, she took it. And she looked at, she's like, it's just because the fast spin cycle doesn't work. Like the slow spin cycle, the medium spin cycle, and the super fast spin cycle still works. I'm like, I could live with that. <laughs> so, so that's coming today. So hopefully that will work okay and I don't have to go back to the laundromat. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I like getting my laundry done in an hour, but I don't like leaving. And especially because it's cold right now. I'm not okay with it. Anyway. Um, other things that have happened to us. Ryan got the COVID vaccine. So, for those of you who are new, my husband is a pastor. Um, but his day job, he works for a school um, that um, helps special needs. Um, there's the school that has the kids, and then he works with it with the adults. Um... So, because he's working with a vulnerable community, um, the group home that he kind of worked part-time at during quarantine, um, they actually got the vaccine, 
um, and said if you want it, you can get it through us. So last weekend, Ryan went and got the vaccine. And so now I'm just ready for my vaccine. <laughs> um, I don't know when I'm going to get it. I, I'm very anxious because tax season is starting. In fact, it, things are already picking up at work. Um, I work for a CPA. Um, and my boss is very like, eh, if you don't want to wear a mask, you don't have to. Yes, I do. <laughs> so I'm very anxious about being around the public for that long, you know? Because, like, during the off-season, we hardly ever have people in the office. So... And people have asked me before, you know, like, are you sure you want to get the vaccine? Absolutely, I do. Um, like, some people I know are worried about putting that stuff in their body. I'm a missionary kid. I've had all kinds of vaccines. <laughs> and I know everybody acts different to this thing, so... We'll just have to see, but as soon as I can get it, I'm getting it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> so, anyway. As well as other things that have happened. Well, the only big thing, so this week. Um, without getting too political, but it was the inauguration. Like, I was so excited to watch this one. Um, just because we have a woman vice president. Like, that's so cool. <laughs> now we just need a woman president. Um, Ryan and I were talking about it, and it's like, you know, other countries have had female leaders. What has taken us so long? What has taken, this has taken too long for this to happen. That's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, and then, like, I am not into poetry, like, it's just not my thing. But I will tell you that poem that Amanda Gorman wrote and then read and performed pretty much like that was amazing like I'll leave a link to it down below like it was so good um yeah that was very moving so I was very excited um Wednesday and um so let's just get on with the yarny goodness okay So, finished objects. I have two. Well, actually, three if you want to count these as two. <laughs> um, so, last time I talked, I said that I had um, started um, the Crochet Iconic Women book. Um, I had started Jane Goodall. Well, here she is. And she has a monkey to go with her, <laughs> except he's almost as big as she is. Like, he's supposed to be a lot smaller. I don't know what happened. Maybe I miscounted. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so here is Jane Goodall and Flint. And aren't they just so cute? I love them. Um, I still need to find a way to get their pictures because she doesn't have a big dress to hold her up. So I have to find a place where I can stand her up okay and it'll look good um, and get their pictures. So um, the yarns that I used um, are just stash yarns. Um, and then I did have to order some special safety eyes for him. Um, I needed six millimeter ones. And I found a place on Etsy where you can just order like, you don't have to order a big container. You can just order little pieces. I'll link it um, in the show notes. Um, and so I ordered the six millimeter eyes that I needed and then I ordered more of the eight millimeter eyes in the colors that I needed for the, all the women. I placed the order I'm like, yay. And then I saw that it shipped to me and it was coming from France. I was like, what, what? I wasn't paying attention to that anyway, but they came in good time. Not a big deal. Um, 
So yeah, here is Jane and Flint. The book, again, is Crochet Iconic Women uh, by Carla Natrani. So yeah. Um, I'll talk about who I'm going to do next later. <laughs> the other finished object is my January socks. So my friends and I are doing um, a pair of socks every month. Um, throughout the year of 2021. So it's, excuse me, hashtag socks box 2021. Um, if you want to follow along on Instagram. Um, I never did set up anything on Ravelry <laughs> yet. We'll see. Um, so my January socks, um, are the yarn was the main color was dyed by me this is all that i have left <laughs> the two um oh so it's blue and purple and there's some pink and green in here as well <clears throat> i named this after my favorite song from the mary poppins returns movie um the place where the lost things go and then the heels toes and cuffs I use this pretty yarn. It is um, called Stone. It is from from me to yarn is the indie dyer there. So, and then here are the socks. Oh, you don't need to see that. Okay. So yeah, here they are. Ta-da! Oh, they're so pretty. Um, I didn't go up as high on the leg as I usually do, just because I was running out of yarn. Um, so the last time you saw, I was here, and then I just, all the way up. I still haven't woven all the ends yet, as you can see here, kind of. <laughs> um, there is one spot here, I have a big hole. There. So once I, when I go in to weave in the ends, it should be okay. Um, and then on this one, let's see, you can see it here really well. So there, I just knit a little code into my sock. Um, just for me. <laughs> so, those are January socks. And then... I got out the sewing machine because I had gotten some really special fabric and so I wanted to make some bags um, out of that and then I bought some other fabric along the way and needed to make masks and all that stuff um, so I have quite a bit to show you here <laughs> so the first fabric that I bought that I was like I I need to make something out of this like immediately and so i ordered it on joanne so i had to order two yards of it and then um jennifer a viewer hi jennifer um she contacted me she's like hey do you want to do a swap and i was like well sure so i'm still doing a yarn band it was just i'm not buying it right <laughs> but anyway so being that I love Mary Poppins so much, it's Mary Poppins fabric. So I have, um, this is a little notions pouch. Um, it has this lovely silvery white swirly, um, fabric on the inside. I have a drawstring bag. Um, so this will be a great sock bag. Um, I did run out of that silvery fabric so on mine I put um, this cute little rosebud flannel fabric and then I have this big bag <laughs> although I was did the measurements wrong when I was cutting it out so it's not as big as it should be but it's still a good size bag um, and it has a zip and of course it has a silvery one and I made a mask, which I've already worn this week, so it's in the washer. Um, so I sent Jennifer an oceans pouch, a small bag, 
a big bag and a mask and then she's sending me her screen to burn so hey that's a great deal for me <laughs> um and so then i had some yarn or yarn i had some fabric that i bought on clearance it was on the clearance rack at hobby lobby um i bought it a while ago and so i was like well let's go ahead and use it now <laughs> So, I found this really cute lobster fabric. And of course, as a Friends fan, like, lobsters are cool. <laughs> um, so, on this, it has a really cute red polka dot lining for the Notions pouch. And then I did a big bag as well. So it has the red polka dot on the bottom, and on the inside of this one is the blue polka dot. Um, I got a message Wednesday that my friend's yarn that I ordered before my yarn did. <laughs> the friend's fabric, uh, fa not fabric, the friend's yarn. Where is the hair? Um, it has been shipped, so it will go in this bag. Um, that's what will hold my socks. And then I cut out fabric to make a mask, but I didn't end up making the mask. Um, like I have plenty. I don't need any more. <laughs> um, the other one that I dressed is that this is also fabric I found on clearance. It was a cute teapot thing. Um, I just thought it was so cute. The different like colored teapots. And then the inside has purple fabric. And then Ryan and I have really gotten into The Mandalorian. We finished uh, the second season, so we're all caught up. And uh, that baby Yoda, he's so cute. Actually, his name is Grogu. We will go <laughs> his real name. He's so cute. So I was at Joanne's and I found this fabric. Ah, so cute. So I made a mask for Ryan and I, and then I made a drawstring bag. And on the inside it has gray polka dot fabric. Which, did you know that I think it was yesterday? It was National Polka Dot Day? I've really gotten into polka dots. I think it's all because of Minnie Mouse. <laughs> anyway, um, and then the last one. So my friend works at Walmart. Her name is Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Um, she's like, look at what we just got in. And so she sent me a picture of this fabric. And so <laughs> I got to go get this because it's Wonder Woman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So I have a mask with this one, with this fabric. Um, this is a, a larger drawstring bag. Um, and then on the inside we have blue polka dot. So yeah. Now that's going with like all of the other fat bags that I have made over the last year. I was like, um, I have a lot. So I may go through and like give some away. I'm not sure yet. I'll let you know. Okay, so makes in progress. Um, I decided to go blow my nose. So now my, so I'm not sniffing, but now my nose is really red. <laughs> um, so I've kind of decided that I had several projects that have been on hold that have just been in time out in my craft room and it's like okay I'm going to either finish them or I'm going to frog them that's my plan so I decided um, my scrap game that I've been working on for two years now maybe probably um, I just need to finish it so I've just decided that's gonna be my Monday night knit night um, project that I take um, to the church with me every Monday for love knots. So this project will get two hours of love every week, if not more, if I decide to do more. So it is living 
<laughs> and this huge tote um, with llamas on it um, is actually made for me by the ladies at Love Knots, um, specifically Lori. Hi, Lori. <laughs> um, so my scrap gun is just, it's basically that's what it is. Oh, it's just a bunch of scraps left over that I didn't know what all I was going to do with them. Um, let's see if I can show this to you because it's getting huge. <laughs> um, yeah, here we go. Okay, so it starts, it's actually still folded in half. Um, it's not that it's twice this width. <laughs> so it starts here. And then I'm just like, oh, let's do this stitch for a bit. And oh, let's do this stitch for a bit. And so this is where I'm at. This is where I stopped, stopped mid row, which very unusual for me to stop mid row. But anyway, um, I don't even remember where I was the last time you saw this. Um, stitch marker has since gone away. <laughs> Um, but I will say, like, I was in the midst of this pink when I started doing, um, taking it to Love Knots, so. So, this is three weeks worth of stuff. <laughs> so, six hours. But, I mean, if you look at how big it is. Oh. And one day I spent, like, the first hour weaving in ends. So, I don't have that many ends to do right now. Um, but, I am on my last ball. This is it. Like, when this is done, my blanket is done. Like, I'm not adding more to it. Um, and then this will be the border. Like, I'm going to do a little something around the edge just to kind of... Make it look a little more finished, I guess you could say. Um, so this is, I love this yarn, Hobby Lobby, and the color Berry. I hope that's enough to do a border. If it's not, oh well. I do have another scrap game that I started. Because, you know, why not have two? Um, so when this one is done, I'm going to work on that one. That one's a crochet, it's a granny square. Um, so it's just keep going in the round kind of blanket. And then I went down and uh, I don't know if you remember this one. Um, it's living in my History Chicks uh, bag. Um, History Chicks is a podcast that I love to listen to. They actually just celebrated their 10th birthday. Whoa. or 10th pot anniversary. <laughs> um, so it is two women and they talk about women of history and I just love it so much. Um, so in this I had a cowl that I was making. Um, I had started it to practice purling all that so it's a knit cowl. So when I pulled it out to work on it on Wednesday, look at this cable. It's just, <laughs> I can't work with that. Like it, like I tried for a couple of rows and it was just, it was just too fiddly. That's what I get for getting a cheap, um, needles from Hobby Lobby, right? Um, so I bound off and then I just grabbed, um, I had a crochet hook in the bag with me for, like, hey, that's work. Um, so I bound off, and then I started crocheting, and it's, it just looks bad. It really does. Um, so, finish or frog it. I'm gonna frog it. And make something else, because I'm really not liking it, so why am I doing it? Um, so yeah, here's what, this is where I started. <clears throat> so here's where I was like really practicing my pearls and that's when I noticed like 
the stitches look twisted, what's going on, and then I realized, and then it was shortly after that that I realized I was purling wrong. <laughs> um, and so yeah, so this is where I bound off and then started crocheting, and it's, ugh, yeah. So we're going to frog that and find something else for that yarn, because that's what I need. <laughs> Um, let's see, yeah, the scrap band, the practice towel. <clears throat> so the only other make in progress I have to show you. It's beginning not to wash this week. <laughs> it is the Waru Shawl um, by Deanne Ramsey of Addy Day Designs. Um... I've made this shawl before, and actually one day I wore my Waru shawl while I was working on my new Waru shawl. Like, this is kind of cool, because I wanted to make sure like my gauge was still okay. It's a little smaller now than it was back then, but of course this hasn't been blocked yet, so we've got that. Um, it is living in my gray feather bag. Which has gray polka dots in it. <laughs> um, so, uh, this is a paid for pattern. Um, you can do two different sizes. The first one that I did, which when this is all done, I'll show you the first one and the, the new one. Um, the first one I did, I did the smaller version, so it's only three colors. This one I am doing four colors, so it's going to be bigger. Plus, once it's all blocked, it should be good. Okay. It should be a lot bigger. Ah. Find where the yarns are attached. Okay. So this is the right side. Here we are so far. <gasps> oh. Just. Oh, it's so pretty. And this pattern is just so much fun. I highly recommend this pattern. Okay. So, first color here is um, Treasure Goddess Yarns. It is in the colorway um, City of Fountains. The second color here is ND Yarns um, in the colorway Soft Petals. And then the third color that I just added, um, finished adding it last night, it is Jojo Ballad. Um, Jojo Land Ballad um, in the colorway Deep Lavender and then I dyed over it to see if it's some because I wanted some depth to the color um, and so this is my colorway Yzma which is a Disney reference Emperor's New Groove anyway so that is all my makes in progress that I've done these last two weeks. I haven't even touched the Eva cardigan. I'm kind of saving that for like the first week of February because um, I know things are going to be crazy busy at work. And that's one where it's like I can set it down, get stuff done, and then pick it back up and it's not a big deal. Like, where was I at? What happened? Like, I don't think I'll be taking socks to work. Um, <laughs> at least for the first two weeks of February. Um, just because it gets so busy, so crazy, like it's already starting to pick up, and <sighs> I was not wanting to be here, I wasn't wanting to be at that office during this tax season, <laughs> I was hoping to have a new job by now, anyway, so, so, for my two weeks things that i'm going to start um because february by the time i record next it'll be february so i will need to start my february socks for my socks box 2021 it's gonna be in this pretty bag um it's a boutique fabric that i found at walmart actually and then it is cute little blue llama um and then the yarn that I'm using is dyed by me. 
So it's Knit Pick Stroll. Um, and here's the colorway here. Um, I'm calling this Six, which is, there's a musical named Six. It's about the six queens of Henry VIII. And so these are the colors that the girls wear, the queens wear, um, the colors of their costumes. So I cannot wait to see how this knits up. Like I'm super excited. I will be uh, skating or uh, caking it up. I'm not really, I'm not caking anymore because my yarn winder is not very good. Um, it's a cheap one I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, and I'm, I'm okay with having balls, it's not a big deal, um, instead of having cakes. So, I will be, um, winding this up today, or tomorrow, I don't know, to get started. I don't have a contrasting, uh, color for this one, which is fine. I'm fine with it being all one solid color. I think... I'm just going to go with the basic tulip socks and do that heel. I'm not going to do the fish lips kiss heel. I'm just going to do the all one color. All, you know. So, yeah. Ah, I'm so excited to start this one. <laughs> and then, um, the iconic women. So, there are 15 in this book. Last year I did three. I did RBG, I did Jane, and I did Marie. So that leaves 12. So I can do one a month. So I'm kind of doing this along with my socks box, like do one woman a month. So for the month of February, I'm going to do, now I gotta find this. <laughs> I'm going to do Audrey Hepburn. Look at how cute she is. Oh. With her breakfast at Tiffany's dress. Oh. I cannot wait to get this one done. Like, this one is going to be special. Oh. I keep forgetting. So, in the book, you know, so you have the pattern for Jane Goodall. <clears throat> and then she lists quotes by the ladies. So for Jane Goodall, um, every individual matters. Every individual has a role to play. Every individual makes a difference. And so I like that quote. And there's my, my uh, tick mark <laughs> paper. <laughs> So yeah, so Audrey Hepburn will be my February doll. So excited. And I think that's it for this podcast. So I hope you have a great two weeks. I hope to see you in two weeks. And yeah, just have a great time with your crafting. And I will see you later. God bless. Editing Lori here to say the washer didn't work. So we got it in, we hooked it up, put some towels in it, um, just some little things, started the washer, and then it just stopped. <laughs> and like we couldn't get it turned back on. So then she opened it up, realized that there's water inside the control board just like our old one. <laughs> oh, so she loaded up both bad ones and she took them back home and then she found another one. She's gonna bring it by tomorrow. Hopefully that one will work. Um, but tonight I actually went back to the laundromat. That's three weeks in a row. <laughs> But anyway, my laundry's done, put away. I can relax for the rest of the night. Um, but there is one more item that is to be. Um, <laughs> I know you all have seen this. 
especially here in America, the whole Bernie Sanders memes of him sitting at the inauguration. Well now, there's a crochet pattern. And so many people have been sending it to me. Oh, look at this, look at this. Yes, it's very nice. I don't want to do it. And then Ryan was like, please do it one for me. And he doesn't ask for things very often. I can count on like three things he's asked for. Okay. I will make you one. Because I love you. And this can be a Valentine's gift, I guess. I don't know. And then my cousin asked me. She's asked me for um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg after she saw that I did that. <laughs> so I mean, they're like, well, which would you prefer? Do you want Bernie or do you want Ruth? Um, so I may end up doing two of these Bernie Sanders dolls. <sighs> There's so many other things I want to do. Anyway. So, that's what's happened so far today. <laughs> oh, if you are praying people, um, there was a fire a couple blocks down the road from me. Um, we could smell, like, it smelled like burning plastic. And then I heard sirens and... When Linda left, taking out the washers, she called and she's like, there's a house that is like engulfed in flames. Okay. So like we went, we walked down there. Um, of course they wouldn't let us near anywhere near it. Um, but it looked bad. So I don't know who it is. I don't know their name. Like on our way back, like we just wanted to see if we could get the house number, like, just contact somebody, you know, but, of course, we're like, how are we, <laughs> how are we going to contact them? I don't know. But yeah, we just want to let them know, hey, we've got church here, we've got stuff, if you need anything, let us know. Like, we have people who will help you out. Just trying to be neighborly, because... We need to take care of our neighbors, right? So, pray for them. I don't know who they are. I don't know their names. But we've been praying for them all afternoon. So, yeah. That was kind of interesting. <laughs> Something new in the day. Um, but again, it's also scary. I mean, I hope they're okay. Anyway, I hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys are wearing your masks and all the taking all the precautions. And I will see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.